Fuck you, Frank. This is a photo of Ellis at Waffle House. Garbage people. Ooh, welcome back, everybody, to another episode of The Wanger Show. This is 138. THX 1138. Hondo, Hondo, 1138. Cosas interesantes. Me gusta cantar la neta de Elton John. Pero le cambio la letra y canto. Nakita, I need you so. <laughs> Over here speaking Spanish, Cody Hall. Oh, I need you so is my favorite part about I need that. You so. I need you so. And then oh, <laughs> also joining us is not Brian, but Dorina. Brian Perez. Oh, I thought you would have. Uh. <laughs> that's <laughs> <not> my nose. <laughs> that's oh, Darina. Try, that's like Darina trying to speak whale. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking of the other one. The your impression of Darina. It's the only one I like. <laughs> I must have watched that like 50 times. I watched it so many fucking times. <laughs> it might be your best moment. <laughs> that was the though, fucking man. funniest thing. It's good. The top, all the comments were just like Brian's impression in the yeah. first minute. I, I forgot I did it. I forgot I did it like when the show started, <laughs> like in a minute into the show. You see, when we got everybody out there watching or listening, every time we do this show, we literally forget everything that happens right at either as the show's going on or right when it ends yeah. it's like the kids from it after they defeat it they just forget about everything i've been wanting to do like a top 25 moments from our show Ooh. i'm like i don't remember anything that happened mm. you know what In comment below or if you're a patreon supporter you're on our discord let us know what are some of the biggest moments yeah, we'll maybe start, we'll, we'll start assembling put it put together a thing like the best moments of best mo wanger moments of Top 10 wanger moments of 2019. Sure. Yeah, How we that? can do that. We can do that. That sounds like a fun That sounds one. like fun. Yeah, or that was last year. That was last. Oh, Doesn't can't do count. it. That's was it last year or was it two years ago? It was last year. Oh. Yeah. That's actually kind of fun. What if we like. You're a dirty game. Yeah, okay. that's that's a, might, that, that might have been That might be year. number one. Okay. That yeah, might be that number might be, one. Yeah. He's my favorite. Not really. That. Um, um, yeah, maybe we can figure out a way of like putting together a system, like a pull system, and then they can help us out. They can like vote on what their favorite moments were. Yeah. And then we can pull those together. And then, you know, it's kind of similar how we do like our top tens of the year. Yeah. We'll just do like a, a, a reveal of like all the top 10 moments of the show. That's a good idea. Look at us brain. Stormy ideas in the middle of an episode. Who needs who stay needs frosty. the frosty? Stay frosty. Okay, hey, that's that an was, all timer. <laughs> that might have been this year. That's a twenty fourteen. That might have been fucking this year. God damn it. Um <laughs> how you guys doing? You guys doing good? Yeah. Right. Good. Right. Yeah. I saw you all weekend, so I know how you yeah, are. Brian, how, how, how was your how was your you weekend? What did I do? You're sick. Remember when I farted? I'm sick of him. Oh. Oh my god, what did let Brian? We don't care about how you are. Oh. No, right, oh. we're gonna talk about this. <laughs> What was that, Saturday night? When was that? Yeah, yeah, this is after Schmodown. We party. It's like 2 a.m., yeah. 3 a.m. We're, we're just, we're sleeping in the hotel room. Yeah, yeah. We're starting to sleep, I Or at least say. I thought you were sleeping. We, we, I mean, we were there for maybe five minutes, just laying down in, in it, our beds, okay. our respective beds. Uh -huh. Well, I don't know. And, well, you tried well, sneaking over. about that. Okay. okay. But I'm sitting there. It felt like just, an eternity. Just trying to sleep, and I just hear this, mouth, not... Not a tiny fart. A oh. pretty good fucking oh, fart. It was forced. You just randomly let it out. It was fucking forced. I told <laughs> Amber about it last night. She was cracking up. Yeah, because we're just laying there. We, it, it woke me up immediately. <laughs> I was like, well, I can't sleep after that. Because right. it, it happened. I was like, Burr. and he's like, oh, my God. I was like, oh, you're still awake. Brian, you're playing these handboys. I'm telling you, it was better than all of the ones <laughs> that you've played I'm so trying far. to find a good one. Trying to find like, one. <laughs> such a good sounding one. It was just like, Burr. it didn't smell either. It didn't. I didn't. I, all I had, had to eat that right, day was you, like pizza. Okay, well, I mean, that, which that bar pizza was yeah. so much better than the one we had at Schmodown. Yeah. It was really fucking bar good. Bar pizza was really good. Um, yeah, so that I was ate funny. an entire pizza at that bar. You did. Well you didn't drunk. eat the crust, but but you, you <laughs> rock. So that, that was, was more pretty like close it. to That's it. more like yeah. it. <laughs> that, that was more so, like that one. It was so perfect. It didn't. I don't think it trailed <laughs> off as quickly as that one. It kind of dragged on a little imagine bit. Imagine dead silence for five minutes. <laughs> Nowhere. Just. Blah, uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Uh, it was good. Brian, how you doing? Good times. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. 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 You know, just, just hanging cool. out. Hanging yeah. out with your Staying wang busy, bro. Yeah. yeah. Staying, Staying busy. busy, bro. You know, just you know, busy. just living the life. Living Do the LA can. life. You know, yeah. that Is that what you say when you see like friends you haven't seen in a while? It's just like, oh, I'm just fucking tired. Just no. tired all the time. No. What do you say when you see friends you haven't seen in a while? Uh, well, because I. Bitches left and right. Because, yeah. yeah, I'm fucking getting mm -hmm. dirty. You know? <laughs> Uh, get nasty. You guys don't want to know what I'm <laughs> doing. Get in here, your ass left and right. <laughs> Man. Um, no, because I still text my friends. So, like, when I meet up with them, it's like, oh, remember when you said this? Blah, blah, oh, blah. yeah, mm -hmm. I don't have that. Ah, mm -hmm. that's sad. Mm -hmm. 
I'm in a fucking football group chat that I muted weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, what, what, was, what are you asking if I stay busy? When I meet up with friends, it's like old times. Oh, you guys okay. don't have, it's like tag. It's like the movie Tag. You ever okay. seen tag? tag. <laughs> I, that's how I equate my uh, fantasy football league, actually. What's that? Because with tag, you know how you the the whole message of that movie is it's how you you know stick together with your friends after all these years. Even yeah. something stupid as tag. Yeah, that's my fantasy football league. Because a lot of those people I don't really hang out with during the year. We meet up every year for the draft and the the, the postseason party. But when mm-hmm. fantasy football comes, you know it's like old it's times. Great. You know yeah, it's like it's Cody. Like, hey, Cody's a little come on in. How you nerd doing? from you high busy? school. You staying busy, buddy? All right, come on in. I don't think they knew him in high school. His these friends. Um, no. Who are these friends? Who are these? Maybe these I'm names? a better friend. Yeah. Maybe I'm a better friend than the ones you hang out with. Well, I mean, my brothers friends. are in there. No, they don't yeah. count. Okay. Well, what you say, Fandango? What movie friends? theater did you work at? <laughs> <Edwards>. Fandango <laughs> movie theater. <laughs> yeah. so they're not a the movie. Old Fandango play. There's a huh? loose Fandango in the theater. Yeah. Remember that one? That was my favorite. Uh, oh, you with the bags? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I remember that stuff. A little bags, little handbags. No. Little lunch bags. I don't remember. Lunch that. bags, put a little face on them, bro. You heard lunch bags? <laughs> on the hand. Put the hand in the bag. Yeah, the bag. And they draw like faces. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, Fandango. Hey, how you doing? I'm the bag. I'm Mr. Bag. Fandango said those movies available right now. Yeah, I remember that shit. Bop, 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 bop. The, the hands of no. the bags, Brian. Come on. Oh, he's right, like right, four right. years older than us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's old. Mm-hmm. He's old. Yeah. 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 Brian, you watched the thing. I did. You didn't it's like movie. it. Wait, hold on. What? Okay. <laughs> he just said it's a movie. I think he oh, okay. Damn it. You didn't. No. So last week I watched like thirty minutes of it. I oh, said twenty. <laughs> Sorry, I just breathed it in this whiskey. <laughs> uh, bourbon whiskey. I gotta stop doing that. Do you want soda with that? <laughs> you went, no, I'm good. <laughs> I just took a big old whiff of breath or did air. Did you like suck breath? it in your mouth? Yeah, basically, I did. That's that. what you're supposed to do, right? <laughs> you're supposed to <gasps> hold my breath. Mm. <laughs> Okay. Don't Br- you fucking play the fart? <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're do it. I'm not gonna sing it. Right right. No. Nope. <laughs> just wait. Take a sip. <laughs> take a sip. Snort. Take a sip, Cody. <laughs> Hold on. You don't even know what he I'm just, gonna play. He just laughed at something that he just thought of and snorted at his own. It wasn't thought. even that. I just I br- I I breathed it. Did you breath, and then you breathed the like breath in? And then it just happened. Okay. Take a drink, Cody. Just take a drink. Take a drink, Cody. Everything you got, get the shot. Ah. <laughs> Patreon, one dollar, one dollar for the reference of that one. Um, yeah, so you saw the thing. Yes, I did. You Put it on it. Saturday night. Mm-hmm. Here's uh, the thing. Here's the thing. Mm-hmm. What is it? What's the thing you do? The thing is, uh, it's a movie. <laughs> yes, it's a movie. I can yeah. respect it as a movie, but I did. I wasn't. Didn't move you. It didn't blow you didn't away. You. I wasn't. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not the kind of thing you like. Yeah, mm-hmm. a thing. It's a thing. Mm. That's it. Okay. I don't know. It's I can I I want to ask you like why is it your favorite John Carpenter movie? John Carpenter it's probably my favorite horror movie. Why? Uh because I like the uh mystery element of it. I like the characters. I like the obvious I mean the obvious go to is the practical effects of everything. Yeah. Cuz it's just so raw and dirty and fucking gross as fuck and brutal. It's very nihilistic. It's just a really dour of a movie. Ah. Uh. I, love I think the, I think she um, would agree. Sure. I love the simplicity of it. I love it's mm. just a team of people out in the fucking yeah. Antarctica, yeah, dealing with a shape shifting monster. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. So it's one of your yeah. tops too, Cody. Um, it's not my favorite carpenter. I'm a Halloween guy, ah. but uh, I do like the thing a lot. Mm. Really, I do. I yeah. think I can appreciate it, but I guess it just it just reminded me of like a Twilight Zone episode where I'm like, oh, this is like a like a mm. thing, paranoia, mm. monsters are due on Maple Street type shit, right, mm. right, like group think. Like, it's also a perfect way to remake a movie because it's it's based off of a it's based off of a short, short story or yeah. or I think it's a short story and obviously there was like a movie that came out in the fifties or sixties the thing from outer space the thing from outer space and that movie it's like a, a similar premise where like guys in the Antarctic are but they're like being chased by like a Frankenstein's monster type of thing so it's like super cheap I've never it seen was, it it was from I've the fifties yeah it's I've like seen a cheesy, clips yeah but, but this is like a, a way to do it I think this one might be more traditionally towards the short story as opposed to um the original movie that's what people say yeah but i can i can uh, appreciate carpenter as a filmmaker mm. and as like storyteller but like i just didn't care about any of the characters mm, sure. and, it, and it just took forever to get like once i understood where i was going i was like okay mm. they're gonna it's a cool premise of like oh we don't know like it's an exact replica of you yeah i don't know if you're the thing or not right 
and then it just goes from there and it builds and it just kind of just ends. Yeah. And I, and I, I fucking love how it ends. People like dissect the ending yeah. so much. And I think that's just silly. I think the, the point it's but like, isn't that the point to dissect the ending? Like come up with your own theory. Well, it's fun to do that. Yeah. But I think like people were saying like, like the ending spoilers for the thing, 1982, it came out a while ago. I like people were saying, uh, uh, one of the characters breath is more yeah. shown than the, the other uh, character. Kurt Russell's, Kurt Russell's character is breath. But I mean, you can still see Keith David's breath. So that's like, that's, yeah. that's the reasoning behind whose thing it's, it's like the alien effect, you know, like alien isn't just, um, a, the movie alien really Scott's alien. Is it, it isn't like the fact that, uh, there's an, a literal alien, but it's like metaphorically like alien, the unknown, you know? And I think that's similar with the thing because they establish rules <clears throat> Yeah. In the movie with the blood and everything like that. But still, it's like, it's still very unpredictable because you never really know. Like, there's that shot where the dog walks into the room and you see a shadow of somebody. He turns around. It's like, who was that? It's never really established who yeah. that was. And I love that mystery. I love that. You can dissect it and analyze it and do all these things, but there's no crystal clear answer to any of it. The whole time I was thinking, because Kurt Russell is like the, the leader and like the protagonist. Badass motherfucker. So I was Dope really. hat. Dope mm -hmm. beard. Sorry. Well, I was thinking of like, oh, wouldn't it be cool if he was the guy all along mm -hmm. and like, but he's leading the charge, but then they do it with the blood scene. They make sure that, you know, right. he's not it, which yeah. I enjoyed that scene. That was a great scene. Yeah. Yeah. That, I jumped <clears throat> at that little, like when the thing just popped out, mm -hmm. like that was a good jump scare for me. <clears throat> right. Yeah. yeah. And, and he doesn't like use, I'm sorry. He doesn't like use music or anything. It just, it just fucking happens. Yeah. You it was know? just quiet. Yeah. How'd you feel about the uh, defibrillator scene? Like, that was a that, that was, was a good one. Good one? Yeah. Have, you, that one? have you seen that before? Or that I catch you off guard. I had oh, no. Cool. I've never seen any clips from the thing. I okay. have no idea what it is because that's about. like one of the most famous ones. Right? Well, even with not this cover, but the uh, the other cover, like it's like a man with a like a beam around his head. <laughs> like it has nothing to do with a movie. Yeah. No, it's just cool, like eighties poster. Who it looks. Is it? it yeah. looks like a sci fi. Yeah. Like man from outer space, right? Like Back to the Future, uh, when he puts on the Darth Vader thing. Oh the, yeah, the comic books. It mm -hmm. looks like that. It kind of looks like that. Yeah, but like, but it's just an alien guy. It's a creature, right? And I love that it doesn't have a true form. Like it's different every single time. It's very yeah. Lovecraftian. Well, that's what you, like that's why it's so scary because you don't know what it could be. Yeah, and then everyone's just. That's what it's like. Like monster. Have you ever seen the monsters are doing on Maple Street? Love that shit. Twilight Zone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where it's like, oh, you're the bad guy. You're the my bad favorite guy. Twilight Zone. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So that's what it reminded me of. This like, oh, you're the thing. Mm -hmm. You're the bad guy. Let's all gang up on you. Yeah. And then no, I'm not. Improve it. Blah blah blah. You don't regret watching it though. It was okay. I don't think I can Never like watch it again. You can say that you've seen the thing now. It's true. Yeah, I can appreciate it, but I, I don't think I would ever revisit it. Mm, okay. That's fair. I don't know. Maybe like some people feel that same way about Blade Runner, what came out the same year. I feel I, that way. Yeah. I like mm -hmm. Blade Runner mm -hmm. and the new one. Yeah. But with this one, I just didn't care, I okay. guess. I don't know. Yeah. It was just, it was just like, I don't, I knew the characters and their name, but I didn't like, they just feel like, felt like stock characters. Mm -hmm. okay. Like there was nothing to them. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Yeah. I but it's, that. but I guess it's not about that. It's about the whole concept of like a creature inhabiting you and right. turning into you and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I'd say if I had like one criticism about it, it'd like be the very end and how they like defeat it. It was quick. It was just super quick, and yeah. he's just like "fuck you," and then fucking throws yeah. the dynamite. It's just yeah. like it's just cool, but I can, well, like I can ex I can respect the filmmaking and the the effects and all that. And the guy was twenty two years old when he did it. Mm -hmm. All the effects, blah blah blah. The lights. Carpenter the was no the the oh. Rick Rick oh, okay. Sobin Sobin guy. Uh, Rick Baker. No. no, just kidding. Um, uh, but yeah, like that's all great, and the cinematography is great. Like everything looked great. Dean Cundy. Yeah. Then and didn't and didn't he do like Jurassic Park mm -hmm. or something? And then, yeah, he did. And then Jurassic Jack and Park. Jill. Jack and Jill. Yeah, yeah classic. classic. I saw the Red Letter Media uh, review of. Yeah, this. they have a great conversation about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or they just praise the fuck out of it. I can mm -hmm. I can understand like it's a cult hit. It's like a filmmaker's like it's a film geeks movie, right? It's right. not like a general audience. Movie. They didn't do shit at the but like no one saw it. Yeah, and even critics were like, "This is bullshit." Yeah, I can un understand that. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a like for like film nerds to just watch and just like, oh, this is great. Look it look doesn't look, look fucking great though. Like it, like everything about it, it looks looks good. amazing. But yeah, the cinematography is <laughs> great, and the mm -hmm. colors and everything, especially on the Blu-ray. Yeah, uh, they all look great. So like a film person can just like critique all that shit yeah one of my favorite moments is when uh the dude gets like the alien clamps on his head mm. yeah and then he lifts him up and then you clearly see like it's just yeah. a dummy just mm. flopping around was that the blood scene yeah 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 was that scene it. supposed to be funny or was i just laughing you might have been just laughing you know it's not really supposed to be funny 
Because like he's like flipping. You're supposed around. to be like kind of like scared, Brian. Yeah, and, like, no, because because um, he goes. It's one, not really music in that section either. It's quiet, but it's, it's just the Benny Hill theme. <laughs> 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 but but it, it's cut in a way that is it's funny. Comical. Yeah, a lot of horror movies are like that. A lot of my horror but movies on do purpose, that. Though I don't know. Like some things are just like shot that way. Because there's three guys tied together, and then they're like they're stone face or just they yep. look miserable. No, they're tied together, and then uh, he tests the blood of one guy. He's like, see, I'm not it. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. And then he cuts, and then, like he's right next to him. Yeah, hard cut, too. Yeah, and yeah he's I mean, just that, like, that could be seen as pretty funny. It's yeah. like, I don't know if that was, uh, that's me. Like, like how you guys said the people laughed at the witch. Yeah. Mm. Oh, like so, similar to that. So it's like hard to see if like that's supposed to be funny. Well, the witch wasn't supposed to be funny. Mm-mm. But the thing, and then. I don't and, know. The raven on the, or the crow on the nipples. Pretty hilarious. That was ridiculous. But then. It's a laugh track. <laughs> yeah. So then, so he's like, let me out, let me out. Cuts to, like, you're clean, you're next to me. He's next to him. It's and just, then, they start stacking up. They yeah. stack up, like, you're clean, next to me. And then, like, you're not. And then the guy fucking chomps on his head, and he's just, like, flailing about. Mm-hmm. Like, a, like a, at that point, I'm like, what the fuck is this? Mm. It's just, it looked ridiculous. That's, like, one of the weakest part of, like, the effects, that it's just clearly a dummy. Yeah. Yeah. But it is funny though when he's like when the last guy is or no the second to last guy is on the on the bench he's like get me out of this fucking chair yeah yeah, yeah. so maybe it's supposed to be comical like a like a stress relief thing mm, but mm-hmm. at the same time I don't I don't know it's not not my kind of movie would you like to see the 2011 thing I saw the I saw uh, clips from it in the red letter media mm-hmm. review and it looked pretty dumb. It's the same movie, yeah. They, they I liked it when I initially saw it. I think I saw that one in theaters. Uh, I was very did. excited to see that one. I, did I remember well. the trailers for it, too. It was fucking dope. Mm. And they originally had practical effects for it, too, and then they and CG'd the, all over the place. Did you know there's a prequel going in? <clears throat> yeah. It's yeah. supposed mm-hmm. to be a prequel. I didn't, I didn't know that going in. That's when I was really into movies. Yeah. Oh, so was the ending like, oh, fuck. Yeah, like okay. when the thing with the dog, I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, I do okay. like that. I like, I like how it connects that yeah. way. Oh, but you see, like... The continuation of the dog coming. Yeah, that's how it the, ends. Yeah. It, oh, not, I mean, you don't care, but like, uh, it's like two of the the two Norwegians that get killed in the beginning of the thing. Yeah, those two guys are the ones that are left over from this, and they're chasing the dog, and it literally ends with a boom, boom, like the music and stuff. Is that Joel Edgerton in that? Mm-hmm. Holy shit! Joel Edgerton, is. Mary Elizabeth Winstead, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the dude from Game of Thrones with the beard, uh, Tormund, yeah, the dude from uh, Eric. Eric uh, Olsen Christensen, whatever, yeah, or something like that, from, from uh, Dumb and Dumber. The, the hot chick with Rob Schneider. He's in well. that. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He's in that one. And, and from uh, Community, Fired Up. Um, oh, Fired Up's funny. Yeah. But it's dumb, but it's funny. Yeah. <laughs> and he's that in guy. he's in Community. He Fans is of huh? Community. Yeah. Where he sings that. Britta, um, Britta's a B. She's a GDB. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's a GDB. <laughs> But uh, yeah, the prequel kind of rewatch community, man. We yeah. talk about you talk about a lot, and I've never yeah. actually seen. Is it on Netflix? Uh, no, I don't know. I don't where know. It'll, don't pro- know. it'll probably be on Peacock. I do have the. It will be. Uh, <laughs> I have the first three seasons on DVD. I remember we, I was at a a thing that you had one time, and we watched an episode of of Community. Yeah, oh, we watched wait, what the episode? Nick Cage episode. There's a Nick Cage in one. Uh, season. Five or when six? Abed does the impersonation of Nick Cage. Um, I think everyone did. I'm trying to remember. I don't know. My buddy Justin really wanted us to watch it because uh, that's when I fell off the show. It was later in the, uh, the show's run, so I only saw that episode that one time. Season three? It, no, it was. I fell off after season three. Oh yeah, yeah. I watched a little bit of four, and then I oh, I didn't. Yeah, off, I yeah. fell off too. Even yeah. when Harmon came back, I didn't jump. No, because yeah. by that Harman time, was like, annoying. Yeah. Donald Glover yeah. was gone. Yeah, Child of Gambino. Yeah, and Pierce was gone. I think too. That's right, yeah. Guy Pierce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. He had all the tattoos on him. Well, that's good. I'm I'm glad you watched the movie, Brian. Yeah, I can say I watched it. Yeah. And what 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 do you well, you won't be on next week's episode. No? Right? Next uh, week's the Halloween episode. You're you're out of town. Oh yeah, I will be out of town. Okay. <laughs> it's like I don't know. I you wrote it on my calendar. Yeah, it's, on yeah, calendar. it's on the calendar. It's on the calendar. I won't be here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I was um, I was gonna uh, maybe was, watch a mo- another movie and then just report in and we'll I don't know, read I'll call text you guys. Or something like that. Uh, I was going to try to watch the original Exorcist because oh, I, yeah. I haven't seen, seen that it? in a while. Okay. okay, I have the Blu-ray. Oh, you do? Yes. Oh, it's a wonderful oh, like thirty-year anniversary with the director's cut. That's the director's cut. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, well, it's a I, good film. I say watch watch the director's cut. They yeah. got like little silly things like faces and stuff that I I think it's actually pretty funny. But um, I there's like that. there's like one additional scene in the director's cut that's fucking great. Now people say that's the scariest movie of all time. Do you guys agree? I don't. I don't like it making. At the time, Definite I mean, distinctions. No, like I don't think well, there still, is. Ever it's like not a, still the scariest wanna, movie of all time. It's, it's up it's, there. It's very good. What, it, what is the scariest movie of all time? I, I just said I don't like making those distinctions. Well, I'm right. asking you to make. I'm, a I'm goddamn telling you, I'm not going to make an answer. What's one it? of the scariest movies 
of all time. Well, there's The Exorcist. Uh, <laughs> there's <laughs> there's uh, Blair Witch is pretty good. Blair first one's uh, scary. Yeah. yeah. Oh, first oh, one's yeah. terrifying. Right. You, you'll find that one boring. It's I ridiculous. Love, I think I remember watching that. I remember being terrified about Halloween the first time I saw it. First now one. I look back and I just enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Um, first time I saw Paranormal Activity, it fucked me up. The f- have first you gone time. to revisit it? It's boring. It's bad. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, it's not very good. It's not um, bad. It's just it's got some good scenes, but like it's slow. Yeah, very, it's very really slow. It takes slow. its time, yeah. which I and it's not I like a good that. slow either. Oh really? Nah. Well, because I saw that uh, on a like a preview showing when it was like you had to demand it yeah, yeah. in mm-hmm. ArcLight. Mm-hmm. Were you in the Were you in the crowd? Were you, were you reaction? Probably show? not. No, oh. but we waited outside the ArcLight. And, um, like, the experience of everyone, like, yeah. gasping and all fun. that shit at the same time. You don't time really get good. that that much anymore. That. Yeah, now when great. you watch it at home, nah, like, on your nah. couch, you're like, all right. Or like, just in general. Like, on, there's Katie. no movies that are like that now. A really sad story. So I saw that movie pretty early in theater as well, and I was hyped up about it. I was, like, I was telling my family, like, guys, this thing is, like, super scary. It's one of the scariest movies I've seen. And my stepdad uh, bought the DVD uh, when it came out, and he's watching it. He's like, it's just fucking stupid, Cody. Yeah, yeah. And I've yeah. never felt more disconnected. You're not my dad coming from your stepdad. stepdad. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was like the last straw. I was like, all right, we're not going to bond. <laughs> <laughs> all right. See how it is. Um, I watched the... Uh, oh, no, I'm sorry. Oh, no, same with Blair Witch. Like, if you rewatch it yeah. again, I feel like it's kind of dumb. Mm. But I haven't seen it in a while. Okay. okay. Well, we'll get you We'll get you The Exorcist, and then uh, you can report back Honestly, in. Honestly, the scariest think. movie of all time. Uh, I love it. I love that movie. That movie is scary because of the characters, not because of the demon stuff. It's just haunting. Mm. Um, but I watched a movie over the weekend on That's the plane. That's great, buddy. How was it? On What'd the plane. Watch, bud? I watched Booksmart. Really? Ooh. I fucking love this movie. What a great film that was. Huh? Uh, that might be my favorite movie of the year. It's Whoa. definitely top 10 for me. I it's fucking love one. that movie yeah. so much. Were you so laughing good. out loud in your plane seat? Yeah, and there was like a girl mm-hmm. right next to me too. And I was like, oh God. Like the whole time, like, please don't do a sex scene. Please don't do a sex scene. There is one. There's, the it's, it's, it gets very close to one. Oh, yeah. They, yeah. they, they, they cut don't, short. Yeah. 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 And I didn't know if this was like the plane editing something down, but there were a couple like awkward cuts in the movie. A couple of times. There might be. Mm. There's a couple of times. But uh, yeah, I, I fucking love this movie. I teared up to the end. Yeah, um, I thought it's a really great ending. Yeah. Those two were so fu- the like the literal ending was yeah. just fucking like uh, yeah. Ah, yeah, it, yeah, it's just it really really good. And or that you, one what? Yeah, I was gonna say, and uh, you brought up like the Uber sketch thing, it's right? Like With Jason, Jason Sudeikis. That yeah. scene is so fucking. It's funny. really right. funny. Just the sound. We really really <laughs> hard. <laughs> I laughed so much harder in that. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Than we did in the mm-hmm. sketch. Where because yeah. he's just driving, he's like, "Hey, you guys want to play your music?" He's like, yeah. "No, motherfucker." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I loved, uh, yeah, I, I, I loved literally everything about it. Um, I, the, like they set up all these like side characters in the classroom and then like everyone gets an arc. They like everyone like gets a fucking out, beautiful yeah. arc. Yeah. You think they're all just stereotypical characters, I, which all... I thought was weird at first. Yeah. I was like, Oh, why are they bringing this all like this breakfast clubby type of cast yeah. to everyone? And then they just all show up. Well, the early scene in the bathroom, he's like, yeah, I'm going to Stanford. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm not going to college. Cool I'm yeah. just going to work for Google. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and I'm it's great. Make like fifty thousand. And the dude, uh, well, Billy Lord stole the show. She, I thought great. she was oh, fucking yeah. hilarious. Yeah. And that fact is, she kept popping up. And then uh, the the kid um, who plays like the wannabe rapper dude, like yeah, her, yeah. her 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 the friend crush, or whatever. Yeah. whatever yeah. I forget his name, but he's also on uh, Righteous Gemstones. He's really mm. really good. Uh, he was really funny too. Nice. And the, both the uh, what's her name, Beanie Beanie Fieldstein, Fieldstein, and Jonah Hill's sister. Yes. What's the other girl's name? I don't know. Caitlin Olson. Dever? No. <laughs> Maybe. They're both is. really great. They yeah, were, they there were was cool. one shot, the shot in the party at the end. It's like a tracking shot. Oh, that's a great tracking yeah. shot. Oh, yeah. with the, the, where they're dancing together? No. Was oh. it Was it? Was it part of the tracking shot? Where I'm it, talking about the one where she gets out of the pool yeah. and then walks into the house. It was after like getting heartbroken. Basically. Oh, man. And then and he then walks into the house. Oh, and the, it's and then a they, whole tracking shot. But oh. then they it ends in their like... In the confrontation, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't even realize that. The one, the one shot, the only one I noticed is when, um, uh, was his name Molly or Amy? One of the um, Joan Hill sister. Uh, when she like daydreams dancing with a guy, that was all in one shot. Oh yeah, yeah. When they're like going around Mm -hmm. in circles and stuff. But if you watch, watch for that. One tracking shot. Cause yeah, they, I believe it's from the pool to the end of the argument. I want to well, say. And wow. the argument fades out, too, so you don't hear, the, you don't yeah. hear them talking. Yeah, okay. But that whole time, they're just, like, arguing back and forth. It's really great. And yeah, I watched the interview with her, um, and uh, she said that they, the two of them, like, uh, lived together for months it to, like, prepare for it and read nice. lines together. So, I mean, it fucking shows. They were, they were wonderful. The like, fucking first scene where they're just dancing together. I like the beginning, so yeah, when they're picking mm-hmm. each other up for school. Yeah. And it's it's like, are we actually going to go to school? Yeah. Nope. Uh-uh. <laughs> and they're just dancing the whole time. It's great. Yeah. 
and the music, like the diegetic music, is playing, but then mm-hmm. it's not Look really there. Saying diegetic. Look at me, you ah. guy. Look at you knowing your terms. Ah. Oh gosh, uh, screenwriting. Uh, yeah, that's not screenwriting. Yeah, it's great film movie. theory. There it is. It's great playing. Not movie. even. <laughs> not even film theory. It's, just it's a, a film thing, it's a film Cody. Production term. It's a film yeah. things. I yeah, yeah. I went to school. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's a good. Would you, you're saying it's like your favorite comedy of the year? Be, favorite it might movie be my, my year. favorite movie of the year right mm, now. Really I good. liked it. Yeah, I'm a little late on the game. Why do you think that movie was not well received by the general audience? Was it not well received, or well, just it, people it, didn't go see people it? People didn't see it. I don't know. It was. It had like because it's women. I think it'll be the and thing people are assholes. Of its generation. It would be the yeah, thing. People yeah, will people discover it later on. And yeah, then yeah. it had like 100 percent of Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, but what was coming out at the time too? I don't know. It was the middle of summer too. I think. Yeah, I don't. I think. Because I think it's an A24 movie. No, it's or a, Annapurna. Annapurna. They don't know how to market their movies. Yeah, I keep yeah. saying that. I don't know. But I keep mixing A24 and Annapurna. But I don't think they know how to market their movies because this was kind of like, but maybe it, it is like an LA, New York thing. Like the middle of America wouldn't appreciate no. a movie yeah. like That's this. Why, I mean, I joke saying women, but like, you know, people are just fucking assholes. But like, it's like super bad. Like, why did super bad do so well? Because it's guys? Maybe. I don't know. Because guys talking about pussy and, maybe. and dick jokes. And they're not even doing that in this movie either. They're, they're not, it's not like pussy fart jokes. Well, one it's of them like it's, about getting, it's about getting. Well, it's about laid. getting laid, but like you know, like super bad, they'd be like, it may be a little dated to be like, oh, I'm gonna fuck her at, you know, like they're <laughs> like they'd be literal. Whereas here, it's like the girl who's a lesbian, she like wants to make love to someone, you know. Well, she wants like to experiment, Exper- with, with experience it too. But also, it's just about them. Like literally, the title is book smart. They've been book smart throughout their whole yeah. lives, and then like these guys were able to party and still go to good school, which is totally true. I remember. Having that in high school, like, these fucking people are going to a better school than I am. <laughs> fucking like, assholes. Like, in uh, college, I'm like, how do you fuck? How yeah. do you go out on a Wednesday and then come to class yeah. and get an A on your test? Yeah, get your fucking scholarship. Yeah. You don't even play a fucking sport. <laughs> uh, I did love the uh, the pizza delivery guy and that whole oh, thing. Yeah. How that ended up turning out. Yeah, that was well, he Michael actually Bryan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. He was, was an actual like. like Pedophile. Yeah, no, he was just uh, what they call the the something Valley Strangler or something yeah. like that. That yeah. was funny as fuck. Yeah. yeah, good movie. Yeah, everyone, well, well casted all around. Mm-hmm. Michael Bryan, Jason Sudeikis, the the teacher is from The Daily Show, I think. Oh, really? Uh, what's her name? Her name is like Miss Fine or something like that. The cool teacher that gives the, that picks him up. Yeah, yeah. But then she ends up parting with him. I didn't like that. That part. was strange. that was my least favorite storyline in the film. Yeah, yeah. that's very strange. So I was like, a- is this okay? <laughs> like, is the kid eighteen? What's going on? Here? Well, yeah. she said because they yeah. they set up that he got held back, and he's yeah. like, you're you're twenty, right? Oh, so it's no, okay. Yeah, so yeah. like, I guess it makes it okay. But then it makes yeah. the teacher look like a loser for sticking around. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But I guess that's the joke. I that do love fun. that they like. When they crash the graduation, they're in a car and no one says anything. <laughs> and then she says, like, fuck, fuck off or don't fuck it up yeah. in the graduation speech. It's great. That's yeah. Good. Guys, I have a new favorite thing. Uh, Book smart. Going to the airport six hours early. Why did you do that? Guys, because Sunday came around, right? In Orlando, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. And everyone else uh, had an earlier flight. So they're out in the morning. But I was stuck in Orlando till like six. And I didn't have anything to do by myself. So around like noon, I realized, shit, I can't do anything. So I'm like, I'm going to the airport. Mm. I I got drunk. Oh. I watched a bunch of football. Oh. And it was great. Got to tell you. I was very relaxed. Uh, it was fun. What you, bar? You're like, were you at a Chili's? I went to an on-the-border <laughs> Mexican cantina mm. and grill. Ooh, controversial. Yeah. You? Yeah, yeah. Went right in there. Wow. Mm-hmm. Class you had a funny way. tweet about this. Yes. Yeah, so I... um. The bar was filled when I was oh, uh, no. there. I walked in initially, and I'm like, oh, shit, I got a good table. And the tables are pretty filled. I'm like, how long is the wait? She's like, oh, just a few minutes. I'm like, all right. Uh, Cody? She's like, okay, how many of you? I'm like, one. Um, oh, it's all right. I stepped on your joke. It's okay. I really was, shit on his she, joke. No, no, no. It, the, the payoff later is better. Um, wait, she's like, I'm like, Cody? She's like, how many? I'm like, one. And then uh, she's like, okay. And then I'm walking around, and then like a few minutes past, she calls it out, and I didn't hear it at first. She's yeah. like, Cody, party of one. Cody, party of one, <laughs> <laughs> lonely piece of shit. <laughs> at this point, there's people also waiting who are getting impatient because they're at the airport. Like, gotta get in the fucking meal. Oh, yeah, so they're yeah. looking around. Where's this fucking one guy? <laughs> mm-hmm. And I'm like, that's me. I'm coming. Oh wait, did, so it wasn't on the PA system. It was just her yelling. No, it was just her yelling. Oh okay. yeah, yeah. Was, yeah. Well, it was funny on the PA. And then uh, I walked in there and I immediately finished my meal super quick. And I was like, this is just awkward. I was sitting at the table. So I got, I paid my thing. I got up and I saw there were some seats at the bar. So I went right to the bar. Yeah, there you go. And then got drunk there. Do you have a drink with your, your food? 
Um, I had a beer water. at the for the meal, and then I went to the bar and had a bunch of drinks. R- whiskey Coke? No, just Miller Lights. Just Ooh, a lot of Miller Lights. Good choice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Did you make friends with anybody at the bar? No. Uh, I had multiple people uh, come up and have their meals and leave. I didn't talk mm. to any of them, really. Other than this, are they sitting here? That type mm, of thing. Oh, yeah. We're yeah. just anxiety ridden. Like I was more checking my fantasy team more than anything. Uh, just trying. Sure. I won, by the way. Um, thanks for asking, Brian. And no uh, that, that that was pretty much my whole day. It was great. It was dope. It was a yeah. Sunday. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fuck yeah. And How then my it? flight was delayed for an hour, so naturally the oh, entire gate no. like, lost their shit and was like basically why was fighting. It, why was it delayed? Uh, they had to change a tire on the plane. Mm, oh, those God. tires. Yeah, so I, I, for stuff like that, I'm like, that's totally fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do and it. people are like, oh, we've already been waiting 30 minutes. Yeah. Like, people will fucking die. Like, people are ridiculous. It's okay. Flights. It's yeah. going to be okay, no, guys. I, I appreciate that. When they yeah. when they ex- inspect the yeah. plane and you're like, all right. And the poor, yeah. the poor girl at the desk was like, because people are getting pissed. She's like, if you guys want, there's a window right here. You can see the progress that they're making right now. Oh, yeah. And she's like, all right, fuck. Oh, yeah. you know, right. They're like, oh, fuck, that's pretty cool. Yeah. How did they do that? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and if they're fixing an airplane, delay it as much as you can because I fucking hate flying and I'm terrified of flying. And you get uh, drunk and pass out and no, I don't do that. Uh, I, I can't even pass. I can't sleep on planes. No, I just fucking can't. Well, I, gotta, I gotta show you this neck picture. pillow. Um, I should. Those get a neck, neck pillow. pillows don't do shit. They don't. Oh, they don't do anything. Damn it! Then I won't get one. I once wasted like twenty dollars on one of those fucking things. Oh no! Now it's um, your, uh, a toy for your kid. So Brian, my sleeping uh, way on planes, I don't do like the the fall backwards like that. I put down the the tray. Oh yeah. And you I do, put yeah. down you like put my arms down, and yeah. I do that. That's like old school one. You yeah, know, yeah. Back you in the day. Like you're sleeping on your desk. So I flew um, JetBlue. On Frontier Airlines. Oh, you good. ever heard of that li- airline? It's, a good, it's, a, it's passable. They're, they're a startup. They're they're up and coming. It's passable. Um, it's really? No. <laughs> okay. uh, they didn't have TVs first and foremost. No, um, they, they do wow, not. dude, white privilege. I didn't have headphones, so I couldn't listen to music or watch anything on my phone. Even more white oh, privilege. You don't come prepared. I played a lot of Sudoku, guys. In <laughs> six hours on that flight. I played um, chess on my on my screen. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Um, so I I wanted to go try to take a nap on my tray. And I have my hand here for reference. That's how small the tray was. Um, very tiny. Show the screen. Show smaller very than tiny. a tiny. It's just so it's, th- like I was, smaller than a keyboard. And guys, I was able to make it work. It's half your <laughs> hand. Was able to, <laughs> to sleep on that fucking thing. Were you what I would see? Middle aisle window. I was the aisle. Oh, look at you. I had aisle both there and back. Yeah. It fucking sucks. Yeah, I like the it window. Suck? I like the aisle. Because like. The fuckers pass by and just brush your arm without even fucking saying. Well, then get in your lane, bro. <laughs> fucking, I can't do no. these, these. These are fucking yeah. huge, man. Scrunch those arms together, man. <laughs> what you gotta do, all right? Come it's on. Like right. Sideways. But you ever seen that SpongeBob on. episode where the guy's long this way? Oh, I wish. <laughs> I tried doing that, but then like the girl next to me, I didn't want to be like all up on her. I'm just like, I'm just and she's like, oh my god, get out! Oh my god, <laughs> get off me! And she takes, tweets out, "There's this creeper There's guy on my plane. He's like sitting aside." <laughs> and, like moving his I arms. I don't anymore. fucking want you, Dad. You don't like, want he's. You sh- don't know what he's doing. I don't know what's up with his shoulders, but <laughs> it's not normal. He keeps complaining that people are brushing into him in the aisle, but like that's not a normal. I'm in the problem fucking to have. middle seat. You fucking his shoulder that. keeps brushing against my yeah. shoulder, and it's very v- v- uncomfortable. I'm v-, v uncomfortable. V u v u v u. Um. <laughs> Yeah. You should do a sketch of you just like in that. an airplane. <laughs> just bumping into shit. God damn it. <laughs> With your yeah. shoulders. But we we extend the shoulders out yeah. even more yeah, so than exactly the women. Like, like football yeah, pads. Yeah, we literally. Yeah. Like that <laughs> oh, sorry. Sir, why are you wearing football pads? No, it's I was conditioned. It's, 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 it's born my, this way. It's my shirt. It's just a yeah. shirt. It's a Give it thing. to me, Brendan. Yeah. Um, Watchmen. Oh, yeah. That's a thing. Brian, you didn't watch this because you, you, don't, you don't care. It's a good no, show. I don't really care. It's a wonderful fucking show. Yeah. Right. Read the really read the comic. Good. No, I watched the yeah. uh, Zack Snyder nineteen okay. <laughs> two thousand and five. Oh 2009. shit! Came out on three six nine. How? <laughs> what is that? I just remember. Come on, guys. How much money did this movie make <laughs> opening weekend? Oh, 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 oh! I know the answer. Oh, I Cody, might be able to get it. Cody's got a boner. I know this answer. I want to say. I want to say it's. 55. Holy shit. Did it I get is 55. It? Yeah. Yeah. This is when I started tracking like Slow box down. office numbers. And I was like, is Ooh, 55 box office, any good? Box yeah. 
but it made fifty five million. I remember the trailer. The first trailer was on the Dark Knight, and it was like from the most acclaimed gra- or celebrated graphic novel of all time. I'm like, what the fuck's this thing? Uh, this no. is cool. And then I read was the it, comic and then watched. The was movie. it written by Jonathan uh, Nolan? The movie? <laughs> any? Uh, no. Any, the movie or the comic? The movie. No. The any movie. connection? Movie, any connection think, at all with Dark Knight? No. I think produced. The, no. By, movie was just the same studio. I think Zack oh. Snyder wrote and directed it. Mm. No, it was written by. David F. Squire? David. Goyer, so he's a dark knight. No, it guy. wasn't Goyer. Come on. It was David like Hater or something like that. David Hater. Bill's Hold brother. On. Um David Harbour. Watchmen uh, movie. Box Hold on. Office. Cody, you'll know you'll know this answer, but what, what song does the movie end on? Do you remember? Van Halen. No. Hold on. Hold on. David a, Hater, it, I was right. It's fucking dead. It's a it's a cover, but what what band? What band? Uh, did the cover? Do you do you know? Do you remember Brian? He asking you, Brian. I don't know. I feel like Zack Snyder does all these like cover. <laughs> do you remember Cody? You remember right? Yeah, it's My Chemical Romance, Desolation Row. Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh no. Yeah. yeah. It was a good cover. It's a pretty good cover. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna look it up. So the show, the show, Cody. Um, Brian, you do you do you not care at all? You you no, won't watch it at all. I don't care. Okay. So okay. You've just seen the movie. Made fifty five million opening. Week, right. Which did. Uh, it's good that you know that shit, information. Do you, do you know how much it made worldwide total? I don't. I know domestic. It made like one hundred three. One hundred seven. <laughs> God, <laughs> so close. Say it like that again. One hundred three. Brian Co- uh, Cody does this thing at work when I like when I when I when I like call for him. He he do the Chris uh, Crispin Glover. Uh, uh, Back to the future. Back to the future. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, do that all the time. That just reminded I me remember, of that. Yeah. Uh, Brian, what is the time code right now? What, like, what does it say? Forty-seven oh eight. Forty-seven oh nine. All right, starting 10, right now. 11. Cody and I are going to talk spoilers for the very very first episode of Watchmen. Uh, Down below. What? This is also on the the Patreon audio. Shit. As well. So all right, I'll before. figure it out. <laughs> Yeah. I'll fucking figure it out. Okay. Not helping thing. the people watching. That's, that's very true. Okay, so <laughs> for the Patreon peeps, you're going to see a different time code than the YouTube peeps. I can figure that out. That's that's no problem. So uh, you'll see the time codes down below. Um, just click. I think you should be able to click on the second one. That's when we'll wrap everything up. Don't worry. Well, I'll at least uh, once I get that one in mind, you guys are going to be fine. Don't worry, you'll be fine. This you'll is be a, fine. It's a big sleep. show to spoil, and yes. we don't want to spoil it. I don't. You. I just. I just really want to fucking talk about this yeah. show, and it's hard not to talk about it without mm-hmm. spoiling some shit. Yeah. So, um, the, the time code's there. Click the end one if you have not seen the show and you don't want to be spoiled. We're going to be talking spoilers. Cody, here we go. All right. Overall thoughts. Uh, I loved it, man. I think it makes total sense for them to do what they did with the story. Oh yeah. Because trying to remake it would just. Or trying to adapt it directly wouldn't work because right. Watchmen was so much of a product of its time. And I think the, this is the way much. of what they're doing now is perfect for what for the way our country and our world Absolutely is. Absolutely right perfect. Yeah. They're they're dealing, Brian, they're dealing with a lot of racial stuff, uh, gun control, oh, no. um, politics, like all of it's fucking Whereas there. And the it's original perfect. was about the Cold War and the yes. fear of being fucking blown up all the time. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, it, it, it opens sense. up with the this, uh, and I I wasn't too familiar with this the, the Tulsa massacre, um, which was just a all like a an all right fucking massacre on yeah. black people in Tulsa, uh, Oklahoma, and it oh the show opens up with this. Is You've just recent? seen or, uh, no, no this is twenty one twenty one yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. You see this? Oh, that's, oh, that's fine. Yeah, no, that's um, Mark from Blink One Eighty Two. He's like, why didn't nobody tell me about yeah, that's this? That's why he tweeted about oh, it. Okay, okay. Watching the show, uh, uh, and it's fucking brutal, and they t- and they tie that into the show somehow. But um, yeah, I, it's perfect. I I'm probably biased because I'm a huge Damon Lindelof fan. Mm-hmm. I love Leftovers. Sure, love Lost. Wonderful shows. Um, yeah, I thought this thing was fucking perfect. I watched it twice. I watched it with subtitles the second time. Like, okay. just like fully like, oh my God, there's this, there's that, mm-hmm. there's this, there's that. Everything was just wonderful. I Regina just, King is so fucking cool. She's good at what she does. She's so man. fucking good. You never watched Southland, did you? No. She was fucking great in Southland. She was great in uh, um, uh, Down to Earth with Chris Rock. <laughs> Uh, different tone than Southland, I yes. would say, but yes. I, I, I appreciate the praise nonetheless. Yeah. The only scene I remember from that was where he's singing the black song. As the white dude? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Drop! Shut him down, Ronnie! <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, uh, <laughs> she's, she's, she's great. Gin and Juice in that movie, too? That, I don't know. Maybe. I don't, know, I I don't so, remember. Yeah. Um, yeah, she's great. Tim Blake Nelson is like... Th- th- like I didn't he realized that was him at first, and then I was like, dude, oh, yeah, that is too he's cool. their version of Rorschach." Because Brian, you think he's got so? this, I think so because he's got like this cool, chromy kind of mask that he pulls over, and like he can't. You can totally tell he can't see anything out of it, but mm. like that's like the aesthetic. And the only thing that is seen is like the reflection of whoever's like looking at him. Yeah. And I think that's super fucking mm-hmm. interesting. Wait, um, so they don't have the original Rorschach people in all. It's the- basically no. a, it's a sequel to the comic. Mm-hmm. Okay, all right. But 
I, mean, this, I think Lindelof described. Didn't he say it was a remix? Yes, of the comic. A kind remix of? is a good. Is a good so, so like they recite a lot of the same lines from the comic, and they have a lot, a ton of visual re- references. Yeah. Uh, from it too. Did you catch the uh, under the hood on on Don Johnson's desk? Oh, the book. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Super cool. The yeah. the classroom where it says anatomy of a squid. Yeah, that was cool. The, fu- the fucking raining oh, squid. Oh, dude. Okay. So oh Brian, my god. So Brian. So in the comic, uh, there's this thing that happens where uh, you remember in the movie, right? No, I haven't seen it since okay, 2005. Okay, okay. Well, back when it made 55 million up in exactly. the Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. In the comic, uh, the, the main the main villain <laughs> that it, it turns out to be the main villain, Ozymandias, uh, he he they create like a giant squid monster, and they they say that it was like an interdimensional being that, that wasn't attacked in the, the movie. city. No, no it's they in ended the comic. up. Yeah, Doctor Manhattan blew. He them fakes all up. an alien invasion to yeah. get the countries to stop fighting each other and team up to fight the alien. Right. In okay. the process. Destroys New York City. Destroys oh. New York so City. So it's kind of like a fucked up way of saying saving the world. Yeah. Mm. And Rorschach yeah. wrote about all this stuff in his journal and then sent it to like a right wing uh, journalist group. And then eventually though they wrote about him. And That's so in it, this iteration? Well, in, this in the comic version? that happens. But in this, um, he's referring to the squids. There's a scene where there's like a full storm and there's, instead there's of rain. A, there's a siren that yeah. goes off and it's like, and everyone acts like it's normal. You're like, ah, oh, shit. Yeah, it's more and annoying. It starts raining baby squid. Yes, it looks like biblical type shit yeah. with like fish falling. So it's like it's like yeah. if Fargo, that squid thing like Fargo, if that squid one. thing happened, like this was just a side effect of that. Yeah. Now they have raining squid storms. Yeah, oh, it's so fucking, fucking cool. Crazy. And yeah. on top of that, Rorschach gets killed in the comics, and uh, the, his information is leaked. He tells about his whole story because ho- his whole point of the movie is to figure out who killed the comedian, and it turns out to be this giant conspiracy that Ozymandias was setting up. That's like the whole point of the entire thing, and. Um, in, instead of him like revealing the truth to the world, the world took that and and turned it into a white supremacy group. Yeah, called, the wrong people. Yeah. got his message and have completely distorted it. Uh, and they're all now wearing versions like, of his mask, saying Karl Marx yeah. type shit. Yeah, yeah. and I'm like that's fucking perfect. It's oh so fucking perfect. Yeah. And uh, Thad and I were talking about, it and he was telling me that like Lindelof, like they, they keep referring to this thing called the White Knight, and then that wasn't an event where I, I they haven't shown or really described it a lot. But Regina King's character describes that she, um, she is found out like she, like she's attacked because she was a police officer and she got shot. Uh, by these people on this white night, the same kind of white supremacist people, and um, as it's another cool detail. No, no, come right now. No, Cody? another cool detail that yeah. they do is when, like, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. No, no. So, right, so she she goes on and describes this thing, and Lindelof explained that. White Knight was a term he saw all over Reddit, and so he's taking a troll term and using it as an actual White Knight event. is a social justice warrior. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah. Oh, shit. Well, he's using that in this show. A and, White and Knight is what, when people are like, are you okay, girl? Is this guy hurting you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, like, yeah. like that, that guy. It's flipping on its head. We were yeah, saying. but in, in this world, uh, this organization is targeting a bunch of cops. Yeah. So now the cops have to hide their identities, and they're yeah. be, they have to... It's such a cool flip-flop so like, in the comic. So like... Mm-hmm. A, 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 a regular beat cop is wearing a yellow mask, right? Yeah. And then you have like detectives that are almost like their versions of the superheroes. They're yeah. all wearing masks. They all have su- uh, secret identities. And like Regina King's character, uh, she's the Night Sister or Sister Night, Sister Night, Sister Night. Yeah. I think Sister Night. Yeah, yeah. Um, so she, it's kind of like she's kind of like dressed like a nun a little bit, but like more badass looking. Mm. She's got like a rosary like whip kind of thing with yeah. a cross on the end of it, and uh, she she's posing as like a bake like a uh, someone who owns a bakery, but that's just the front. And her, she's actually like a detective for this police force. And uh, when when the Rorschach video started, like the uh, the Seventh Calvary, yeah, and that's what they're calling him. Um, when they when they say the phrase and it's like and we and we say no, yeah, I was yeah. like the world will look up and shout save us and we'll we'll say no. You're yeah. taking his yeah. words, something yeah. that he's meaning for positive exactly, things, yeah. and turning it into something negative. That's uh, fucking perfect. Yeah. It's so good, Brian. If you knew the context, of everything you'd be excited too. Yeah. Um. But uh, it's, yeah, it's okay, Brian. It's okay. Uh, it's yeah. not. It's not rated that high on IMDb. There's a like thing IMDb. behind that because yeah. apparently there's. I haven't looked into this at all. I may be completely wrong, but I heard that uh, the same people who like attacked the Last Jedi, like the fan reviews type thing, yeah. are going after this. Why? Because it, they say it's attacking um, troll right wing oh. people. Yeah, oh, that's insane. it's very politically yeah. charged, and yeah. and uh, oh, so. Robert Redford is the president. Yeah, 
Yeah. Because at the end of the Watchmen comic, um, it's very fictionalized because Nixon runs for like four or five terms or something yeah, like trying, that. Yeah, I think it's four. And then at the end of that book, they uh, it's mentioned that Robert Redford is like running for president. Like mm. the Robert Redford, the, the actor. Really? It says Redford in the comic? I think so. Mm. I want to say. I could be wrong. Nixon was probably going to lose. I think they say Redford. Okay. Or maybe it's like a doomsday clock thing. I, I, okay. I could have sworn that there was a Redford reference in there. Because uh, like, who was an actor? Um, not Richard Nixon. Uh... Reagan. The actor? Reagan. Yeah, Ronald Reagan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so it's like, I guess they're kind of using that. And so uh, Robert uh, Redford has been a president for over like 30 years now, since like 86. And yeah. you see like a little poster in the background with like four different presidents. You see like Nixon, Washington, maybe Lincoln, and then Robert Redford's yeah. photo in there. So I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I'm wondering if he's actually going to pop up at some point. I know he's retired, but cool. maybe he shot it ahead of time. Um, so it's very, very fictionalized like that. And they even use that. So like the White Knight, um, event. There were these. I forget what the kid calls it in the classroom. The Redford oh, Red, Redfordations. Yeah, Redfordations. Where they were yeah. they were paying people for all these like horrible things that happened yeah. to them. So it's like it's just like this amazing world building that they're doing upon this this thing this comic book that happened. Exactly. I don't want to like live in this world, but I want yeah. so many episodes of this shit yeah. just to be able to like. I never want to see learn the, more. I never want to yeah. see the White Knight. Like, I yeah, never sure. want to see that event happen. I love the idea of hearing about something like that and imagining it as opposed to actually seeing it. Yeah. I feel like they would actually show it at some point. Might, yeah. Um, but then Jeremy Iron shows up, which oh, is... Oh, this this is some of my favorite shit. This is so fucking weird. It's awesome. I don't know if it was confirmed that he's Vite. I think so. I think um, but I'm assuming. On that. Wikipedia, it says he is. Okay, then yeah. But... Is he making fucking robots? I think they're robots. Is he either that or is he making life himself I, I, to try I, to rival Dr. Manhattan? It's either one or the other because, like, the, the he has these, Brian, he has these two servants with him, and they're just totally clueless. They're weird. They're yeah. very weird. They're celebrating his anniversary of, of bringing the squid monster to the earth, yeah. and they bake him a cake. And instead of giving him a knife, they give him a horseshoe. They're like, would you like to cut the first slice? And he just looks, like, disappointed. He's like, he's like what are you doing? That's a horseshoe. <laughs> and at first, I was like, confused. Oh, right. Would a knife be the right thing to use? Let me get that for you. It's, I was like, oh, they're fucking robots. I was confused at first. Yeah. I was like, is that a reference to something? Yeah. Like, because I was thinking of his, like, animal. I, don't know. Yeah. I was thinking of his animal that he had with, like, oh, the horns. Yeah. And I was like, uh, but it's a horseshoe. So they didn't yeah. know. But then it further solidified that when he tastes a cake and you yeah. see this expression on his face, he's like, oh, this is shit. But then yeah. he's like, oh, that was the bee's knees. This yeah, was great. Yeah. Um, so I'm very intrigued to see what his whole thing and is. The, yeah, because it also said in the newspaper that he's officially declared dead. Yes. Yeah. And then so Tiny I'm like, detail. okay, so he's just he's, he's gone it. off on his own thing mm -hmm. to try to create life. I think inspired like by that. his final conversation with Doctor Manhattan. Watch. Yeah. This show is is so it knows so exactly much what stuff it is. to unpack, mm -hmm. and I hope they're able to keep it going throughout this season. They're but, saying right now that it's only going to be one season, nine yeah. episodes. I yeah, really do fun. hope that's the fucking case. Yeah. Because he did so well with Leftovers. It's nine uh, episodes? Just, cool. I thought it was Nine six. episodes. I okay. think it's nine episodes. Three, six, um, nine. Three, six, nine. Three, yeah. six, mafia. Mm -hmm. um, they're keeping up with the theme. Yeah, keeping yeah, up with way. the themes. Uh, because Leftovers is only three seasons. They were in and out. Boom. Done. Mm -hmm. And I kind of hope the same. Like, as like as you were saying, I want to see more episodes with this. Yeah. As much as I would want to see it keep going, like I think his, his stories are better contained. Because this episode sets up a lot of stuff that you yeah. don't really that doesn't explain a lot and i yeah. like that and i don't even necessarily need everything explained yeah. you know because i have a theory i have a weird theory it's kind of disproven by some things that Dim lindelof has said but don johnson he plays the uh the sheriff of of this of this police force and he's the only person that's not unmasked like yeah. he's like out in the open the sheriff right yeah. uh at the end of the show he dies. Mm -hmm. He is killed. So it's very similar to who killed the comedian. It's who killed the sheriff. And at the very end, the very last shot is okay, the, when, the blood on the... When they started that shot where you're like, you drop knew the it. fucking blood You knew it? Drop the blood Okay, I, I didn't think about it. I was like, do it! Do it! And then I like, lingered for a long time. Yeah. I was like, they're not going to fucking do well, it. Well... Splat. That's what like, I thought. Yes. It confused me at first. Yeah. I was like, okay, I was trying to read what was on it. I was no, like, okay, no. who is that? What is that? You know, but yeah. then the blood drops. I was like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, keep talking. He dies. I have uh, a theory. I have Brian, a theory. the uh, the final shot of the pilot is his so because he dies by being hanged. Don um, Johnson. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And his sheriff badge is on the in the grass, and the final shot is a drop of blood dropping on it to echo the comedian's smiley face oh, badge and nice. the when drop he was murdered from the comic. Yeah. So it got me thinking. This is a bizarre theory. It's probably not true. I think Don Johnson's character is the second night out old. 
I thought that for a second when he was flying Archie. Okay. Yeah, See, was that Archie or is that just a model? Okay. That this was is the what kind thing. of this is what kind yeah. of debunks the okay. whole thing because Lindelof has said the Archie like uh, ship. Those are like the modern police cars now. That's what I thought. Yeah. Okay. So there, there are like more of them, but it's the fact that he had that. And then there was a shot before he leaves his home of him and his father. And yeah. his father was also a police officer. I paused that and I was like, what the fuck's that? And I was yeah. trying to figure out what that was. Yeah. Because was his dad a cop? Or was like the, or the original Night Owl's dad was a cop. Someone Ooh, was a I fucking cop. I don't remember. I don't remember. I, I want to reread it and figure out if that's the case. Yeah. Because the second time I watched the show... Uh, the subtitles are on, and it said uh, uh, owl hoots. So really? like owls were hooting when it was on the tree when he was hanging. So I was like, okay, am I really fucking looking into this way too much, or oh, is that'd this be interesting? Was this the night owl's death? So you think he's Dan? Uh, uh, I forgot his last name. Delbridge or some like the, the second yeah, night yeah, owl because yeah, the first okay. night owl was killed. Yeah. Um. But yeah, like fuck, was he? But, but like, why would he be in Tulsa? To, I thought about that as well, and I'm trying to add up the. The age, because uh, Jeremy Irons as Ozymandias kind of makes sense. Yeah. If the, if these people are in like their thirties, forties in nineteen eighty five. I mean, the, yeah. The one, yeah. the one, uh, the kid from the very beginning is one hundred and five. He's the guy in the yeah. wheelchair. Yeah. Was um, he the kid or was he the baby? I think he was the kid He's because because okay. he had that photo. Yeah. Because yeah. the baby was a girl. Oh, it was. I think so. Okay. I think the baby was and a girl. Good look. Um, but yeah, uh, tiny little things. Uh. The opening scene when he's asking Panda to unlock the the gun, mm-hmm. and oh, that like, was yeah, you knew exactly what was going like, on. Like that's there, right? like oh, yeah. that's so fucking great, and I yeah. love the character of Panda. Like I know everything about Panda, and he's in t- like yeah. one scene and and it voiced over. It's interesting that alt right groups are so mad at this because I I viewed the gun thing as a spin on super. The other side. Saying, the other side of it? Saying okay. we need more gun control and shit like that. Ah, uh, okay. That's how I kind of viewed that. But well, there, there is yeah. one part where Don Johnson's driving in his truck and you hear the radio. Yeah. And you hear one guy saying, it takes me six months to get a gun nowadays mm. or something like that. So maybe okay. they're kind of like upset yeah, about that. Yeah. Um, the other thing was, uh, I, have a, I have another theory that the guy, there's a guy when Regina King's um, walking to her bakery uh, where he he- holds up a poster that said the future yeah, is bright. Yeah. I'm like, is he going to keep popping up? I was running. I was like, should I go back and pause that to see who that guy if that, is? If that's going to yeah, be somebody yeah, at some point. Somebody. Yeah. yeah. So I just, I never know. Um, I mean, that'd be cool if, if he was a night owl. Yeah. Um, but if not, it's, it's not a fucking big deal. Nah. Cause like, do you know, you, did you watch the episodes leading like for like, no, I stopped it. Okay. The, All right. The coming up next. Okay. Yeah, I didn't. But you watched the first trailer, right? Uh, I did it while hungover or puking at Comic Con. Go check it out. There you go. Um, <laughs> Okay, then I won't say because there yeah. is a, a another character that shows up that. Like, oh, I know you talking about Manhattan. No. Okay. Okay, a different character. Okay. I, I know Manhattan yeah, yeah, probably yeah. shows up, yeah. which is also cool. Another little Easter yeah. egg. Um, you think it would be Billy Crudup? Would that be too distracting? Yeah. You don't think that'd be kind of cool? I don't think they would because that would canonize the Zack Snyder watch. Would it though? And I mean, you can just, just say he plays it in both. I yeah, guess whatever. Because he was so good. Yeah. yeah. Or Vin Diesel plays him. No. Jesus. Oh, oh fuck! You know. Um, I'm blue. Yeah. Uh, fuck. Missing anything else? Everything was know. great. Uh, I just love. There's so many shots where you can just pause and be like, that's a panel from the comic. Yeah. And like that's a reference to the, the, mm-hmm. the when she beats the guy in the the jail and all the blood comes out. That's a reference to that's Rorschach, a reference to Rorschach. In, the, in the jail before. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's oh so cool. the whole scene. Put him in the pod. Put oh, him in yeah, the pod. Oh yeah, that was great. That was a fucking awesome scene. Oh yeah. I love. Uh, yeah, and and rewatching with the subtitles, you learn all that. Like I saw all their names. Like there was Pirate Jenny. Mm. Um, the Red Scare, yeah. Uh, Panda. I saw someone's tweet. I forget whose tweet it was. Uh, it was like, I want a figure of Panda. Uh, Panda, <laughs> just a fucking guy that doesn't want people to have guns anymore. Um, um, and then uh, Frances Fisher. I didn't know she was in the show. Yeah, I talked to her at Josh McCoo's wedding. I ordered a drink for her. Yeah, that was fucking cool. Yeah, she's awesome. Uh, yeah. There's one other thing that I was wanted to bring up, I forget. Um, yeah, I Regina King has a family. The dude from Black pa- uh, Black Panther, Black Man, who is Black Manta in Aquaman. So like he he likes he like knows she's a yeah. superhero, but it's like plausible deniability. Not yeah. not exactly uh, admitting to it. Um, I felt like it was a very leftovers thing when she was describing to the children that her insides were out and they had to yeah. do surgery on yeah, her yeah. and stuff. I thought that was really funny. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. Uh, I, I fucking I want to watch it. I again. really hope I, it continues to be good because this is really cool. It's just it's yeah. perfect. It's yeah. absolutely perfect, and I and I loved uh, I loved every single second. But I can't wait to watch 
the rest of it, uh, I'm trying to think, was there anything else? Was there anything else that I picked mm. up on it? Mm. Um, I definitely want to just want to rewatch the show. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I, and I'm just interested to see where it's going. Yeah. Interesting to see it's going. So, there we go. uh, Brian, what's the, what's that time code right there? One hour, five minutes, nine seconds. One hour. That's for the almost 11 20 seconds. minute discussion. All 12, right. 13. One hour, five minutes. 13. Okay. Well, yeah. on the page. Five minutes. All right. This the Patreon is section. getting like terrible reviews on Rotten Tomatoes by the right. crit by the fans. Yeah, the fans. Right? We are done spoiling okay. it. Done spoiling it. So it's a good show. You guys should check it out. Wonderful show. Um, yeah, good discussion. We did it, man. We had it. We had. A, <sighs> that was. I great. mean, we just freaked out the whole time. That was. We really uh, had, like, that, like, I, did this happen? And then <laughs> I felt like that was the old days right there of us excited for things again. <laughs> That was yeah, fun. That's true. That we were reminiscing, yeah. and then next week we we're just gonna hate it because everyone else is gonna be. There's a new trailer for the, the final Star Wars movie in the song. We were just like, oh, it's, oh yeah, did you watch it? Yeah, we'll watch it. Yeah, I'm not gonna trailer. watch it. Yeah, I oh. thought it looked cool. Okay. Okay. I haven't seen it. Yeah, lightsabers and stuff. Yeah, is yeah, uh, stuff. Ray's uh, Snoke's granddaughter? You know they do address that in the trailer. Oh um, shit, but, that's cool. No. Oh. They don't. Um, but no, I thought actually it was a really cool trailer. Really mm-hmm. emotional stuff. The music in it. They do the same music in every really Star great. Wars trailer. Not this like, one. Neil Morricone. No, that was <laughs> Avengers. Sorry. Um, Imagine Cone. they did the Avengers theme to the, the Star Wars trailer. <laughs> just boom. Just super heavy at the end. <laughs> oh, who fucking cares about the Star Wars trailer? Did you see the Vin Diesel Bloodshot trailer? No. What's that? <gasps> oh, it looks wonderful. I think it's based off a comic book, and it's just Vin Diesel from Fast and Furious movies wearing a tank top. I'm Bloodshot. And he's Wait, got bloodshot. He's got bloodshot eyes. I got blood. He's got real? bloodshot eyes. It's real. Oh, my, yeah. my eyes are pretty red. Yeah. yeah oh, you know, I'm bloodshot. Yeah. I'm gonna bloodshot your it. face. Like, I'm gonna call myself that. Cause, yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Um. So yeah. Okay. Star Wars. Yeah. Cool. Right yeah. on. I can't wait to see it. Yeah. The music in that is really cool. Okay. It's a cool new rendition of the theme. Giacchino. No. Oh, I'm just kidding. It's okay. Mr. Johnny, Johnny Johnny Dubs. John Johnny Dubs. Uh, his last uh, mm-hmm. Star Wars movie. That he might be his last movie. He's doing. Jesus, probably. Oh, I didn't mean like that. I mean, yeah. like he, he literally I mean, says this is my last story to retire. Okay. Know. All right. Yeah, um, this guy says, this is horrible race baiting crap storytelling. Right, Watchmen? <laughs> Watchmen, yeah. It's really it not, has like man. I think it is like a bunch of like right ring tw- trolls. I really, I really think that but there's, weird. there's two, he, he explores both sides of it, the extremes of both sides, mm-hmm. which I thought he was doing with the hunt, by the way. Oh, I see. Which uh, but people, a movie. but people judged it uh, before the movie came out, and then it got canceled. So maybe we'll oh, no, that's the one where yeah. they're like, oh, okay, yeah, it yeah. happened right but when another shooting happened. I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, this guy says it's simply using the Watchmen as a vessel to spew the social justice cultural culture around. Is that not true? Yeah. That's another thing when people were saying like the the original Watchmen wasn't political. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? It, the, well, whole, the whole the whole thing was, was fucking it's, political. It's a reflection war. of the yeah. the Cold War. America, it's not man. like a, a a straight action superhero no. movie. It's like really smart and or movie and story rather, yeah. uh, and it's very well themed. Well, it was heavy. like the boys on Amazon. Yeah, there, there's the, like the boys is a little more like boys is kind of like super bad meets that really? like grotesque and raunchy. I don't think it was raunchy. I think it, it had a pretty, message behind it. or had, It has a message behind it. I think it's just more raunchy. I think, like, Watchmen is a little bit more highbrow. Not the movie, oh, but, like, the brow. story. The story of Watchmen behind like it is tasting. more highbrow. Mm. Wine mm. tasting fucking fan. I like to say the boys with, like, a Z. Do people still do that with a Z at the end of the <laughs> Gorillas. Like wild, like wild boys? Yeah, yeah. That's mm. what I like to This do. guy says, poor storytelling and woke messaging peppered all throughout the show. Again, it, I, I don't think it is. I don't think so. Yeah. I think you guys are too woke, and you're just on the woke train. Us of all people. Yeah. yeah. No, please. As a Latino... Mm. I don't think there are any Latinos in the show. I don't know. I don't pay attention <laughs> yeah. to that. I don't pay attention to that stuff. I, I, I really count don't. all the Latinos. Like we mm. talked about it one time on a show. It was like about having like a Latino superhero. Like I get it if you're like a kid yeah, yeah, and it's... you're looking up to that. Like that's cool. Like that doesn't mean anything to me. That they're all this. Well, they're, these movies the same. are for children. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, Watchmen is not. Is Watchmen it not? is not. Yeah, don't if you cool. have children, don't cool. make them watch the show it. unless you're a cool parent. Then do the it. The movie's rated R. Oh yeah, because there's like yeah. Dick and and oh yeah, there's full on vagina. I'm interested to see if I if it let you borrow the comic, would you read it? No, you should. No? It's very it's yeah. it's, it's, it's really why? good. Why? Yeah, I've read it many times. It's it's great. It's long why, though. Why, it's why fucking would you think long. I like it. It's just because it's, it's it's good. It's uh. a take on a genre that you haven't really seen, and they mm-hmm. do it really well. They just take such a serious humanistic approach to the superheroes and what mm-hmm. it does to society to have these fucking things in there. Well, isn't that what the movie was about? Not as well though. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. 
I liked the movie, with, the movie yeah. when it came out. Yeah, I do yeah, like, I, I really like the movie. I like the movie a lot too. I haven't seen it since, yeah. Mm, yeah. and I can understand why it didn't. It only made fifty five million opening weekend yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because it Three, was six, nine. it was six, long nine. and drawn out, and yeah. it like there was it wasn't like a typical superhero or like a third act build. And there's build. not really yeah no it's it's so nonlinear. It's like all over the place. And what's cool about the graphic novel is that you not only get like the regular panels you see in like a comic book, then you get mm. like all of Rorschach's journal. You get like. Uh, sections from characters books that they've written over history you get newspaper clippings like it's like really thought out and very very intriguing but this one because i'm reading the comments online for this that's saying it has it's not connected to the source material it's a sequel it is a sequel it's in the world of it so there's no rorschach there's no all this there's no that well, there, again i don't want to go back to the spoiler, spoiler shit oh but, yeah we just no yeah spoiling. but it's it's connected it somehow. It is very much connected. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. And I was talking to Josh uh, Makuga about it afterwards because he was like, what? Because he didn't read the comic. He's yeah. like, what was this? What was that? That's what, what was I was this? wondering if people who didn't read the comic would, would like it as much. Because Maybe. Because I feel like a lot of this is like such an ode to Yeah. For the film the geeks. For the comic yeah. geeks. Yeah. 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 I don't know. It's both. I mean, it had pretty good ratings comp uh, like in comparison yeah. to other shows and whatnot. I think they said they got close. They... Initial opening was like eight hundred thousand, and then um, live viewers, live viewers, and then like the next day it was like one point five million, yeah. something like that. Because a lot of people for HBO, reviewed. that's that's good. Yeah, which a, is a million. It's their I highest thought, one since Westworld, I think. Yeah, the highest, like pilot. Pre yeah, premiere. I think. Oh wow. Yeah. I, no, I think they also said it was the highest since Succession finale because the Succession finale was over like two million. That was last week. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. You're right. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh. But, uh, yeah, I think it maybe for that it's more of, like, because Makugo's a fan of The Leftovers, and The Leftovers is very uh, open-ended, and it's just everything's part of your own interpretation of what they're trying to say. Knowing and, uh, that I didn't like The Thing, would I like Leftovers? Yes. Is there any connection or anything? Yes, there's, there's a lot of emotion in The Leftovers, and if you're a human being, I think you can appreciate that. Okay, so it's not just, like... It's not just like Film a con it's not a concept. You okay. know what I mean? It's actually even it's like, like someone who likes Mother, I think you would like Leftovers. Even I, though I would or I wouldn't. I think you would. Okay. Like I'll watch Leftovers some episodes and just fucking cry my eyes out cuz it's yeah. so beautifully done. It's also and manipulating. It's, I mean, music is manipulating. Oh, yes. it's, it's, it's just blaring just Yeah. Like, <laughs> but like they play the same piano yeah. note like in oh. every episode. Yeah. It's like boom boom yeah. Oh, I'm gonna watch Leftovers oh, again. Oh, interesting. No, suppose the music in Watchmen is oh! fucking amazing. You know who does the music? Brian Ennio Morricone. <laughs> nope. No, but he did do the thing. Johnny yeah. Dubs. And he also did uh, um, uh, Hateful, Hateful Eight. Eight, which, yeah. by the way, he used, it, John, Quentin, Quentin Tarantino used unused music from the thing in that because uh, he Hateful won the Eight. Oscar and he won a Razzie for this movie. Yes, it's true. Yeah. He was also, uh, the th uh, Hateful Eight was very inspired by that movie. Yeah, but better. Shut up. Oh. <laughs> I like Hateful Eight a lot. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> guess oh, guess who did, <laughs> did the music for Watchmen? Michael Giacchino. No, Giacchino. Uh, Gia, uh, Alan T. Silvestri. No. Alan T. Silvestri, no. No. Alan, T Alan Taylor. You said T. Oh. You said, no, you corrected <laughs> yourself. So I was, I was, <laughs> yeah, you, I was you, playing you, off your correction right, as if right, it was right. the actual name you were saying. Alan Silvestri. Make it funny. two Brian. guys. Uh, Dick and. Close. Close. Dick Wolf. They are two men. Dick and Dick Wolf. Dick They're in a right. band. Dick and Fred Wolf. They're in a band. <laughs> Dick and Fred Wolf. Hey, Dick Nat and Fred. Wolf. Nat Faxon. It was Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross. Let's uh, get this out of the yeah. way. This needs to end. Okay. It's they, fucking yeah. wonderful. Oh, it's nice. so good. Yeah. I watched the entire credits just to hear the music mm -hmm. of yeah. that episode. Of it's like, it's so great. perfect. And your wife is like, Cody, <laughs> change your kid. Change your kid's <laughs> diaper. <laughs> your kid is crying back here. You're like, come, after the score, and then, he's going to understand. <laughs> come to find out today that they're releasing three full albums mm. for... <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, that was the chair. I swear to, I swear on my son. That sounded like that's a fart. the chair. That you, was the fart. That was the chair. All right, replicate it. Do it again. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Let's play it we'll back. We'll see. Yeah, we'll play it back and see what you think. Ah, oh, this is this actually plays in the show. It's weird. No, um, it is kind of similar to this. Very though. similar to this. Uh, they uh, they're releasing three full albums on uh, vinyl, n probably uh, just for this show. Like full on albums. Mm. Trent Reznor, Atticus Ross. It's wonderful. It's crazy. Good team. I think I saw it was going to be on vinyl on Twitter or something. Oh, okay. Yeah. I could do this in karaoke. There's like two coming out in November and one. I think you can do this karaoke. You just dance. The, the, and then one in December. <laughs> Is that the joke, Cody? That's the joke. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's good shit. 
Uh, I don't think we have a bedtime story this week because we told all the stories and no one wanted to. Don't nobody, put it that way. Nobody Just say we us. got to the end of them. We got to the end of them. <laughs> <laughs> I also finished uh, Righteous Gemstones, by the way. Is funny? Where are your thoughts? Incredible. Yeah? Yeah. Funny? And I almost wish they weren't coming back. For, I say this about almost like every show, but I... You just want things to end, yeah. don't you? Yeah. You don't like sustaining happiness I for love, a like, time. Maniac was like one season and done. You yeah. know? Leftovers, three seasons, Breaking done. Bad, season one. Just Five stop. seasons, you know? Yeah. It's a perfect six episodes <laughs> yeah. right here. Friends, yeah. season Seven. one. Who cares yeah. if Monica... <laughs> Gets together with Chandler. The office, this first season's not okay. Let's just stop here. Let's just stop right Let's there. Stop. Jim and Pam, will they, won't yeah, they? Who cares? Care. Um, it's fine. <laughs> no, Gemstones definitely ends with like, they, they definitely. Community, who cares? Who cares? Seinfeld, I get it's about nothing. Whatever. <laughs> it's fine. Sorry. I wouldn't mind. I'm it. sorry. Don't uh, ever apologize for something that you're not sorry for. Oh, I'm not sorry for that. Yeah, it was a funny bit we had go. going. That, that was a lot was of fun. Yeah. Thirty Rock, you know. You Tracy know, Morgan yeah. came in. Who cares Wonder where Liz season, Lemon's gonna go? She's whatever. gonna find love. It's warm. <laughs> Game of Thrones. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. Dragons. Dragons. So. For serious season of heroes. Who cares oh. if winter comes? You know, winter get canceled anyway. <laughs> get it. It's fine. Oh. First season oh. of uh, one season of every yeah. show. <laughs> Terror Planet. Was it Terror Planet? No, Terra Nova. Nova. <laughs> it was Nova. one season. Perfect. <laughs> Lost, whatever, fine. Oh, hatch, 24 what's going to happen? Oh, yeah. I hope it just ends with the hatch mystery. Oh. Whatever, it's fine. <laughs> one episode of this show. Yeah, we just done one whatever. show. Yeah, it's fine. It was heavily edited. I don't know. But yeah. Mm. Okay. What, what were we talking about? I don't know. Oh, what yeah, I don't remember yeah. what we were fucking talking about. I made a fart about. noise with a chair. Well, episode... Then, okay. Oh, you're talking about a sh- an- another show. Oh, Barry, season two. It's like the one uh, season that you did one say that one, that one, didn't you? I did say you that one too. Yeah. Yeah. That one yeah. ended perfectly. I want that one just to end after this one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was like, that what? one ended perfectly. Okay. Yeah. That would have been great. <laughs> it's on a fucking cliff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the boy, season one. Who cares? Yeah, yeah, who cares? Well, oh, that one's different. That one was different. Yeah. <laughs> Barry ends on a cliff here. You don't know if like he kills somebody or not. Yeah. yeah. I, th- I thought he killed her. Uh, oh, spoilers. Mm. Barry, oh, look mm. the time codes. You don't skip that one. Don't worry. Barry, I'm not gonna do that for all of them. Um, I had, you had something else going. Did we distract you? Yeah, yeah I don't remember. What I, we were you were talking about. about a season of a show. Yeah, what but the I, fuck was it? I don't think it was Watchmen. I thought no, we. Were, I thought we, that no, we, we had a. We had a g- nice pirates. Mm-hmm. We we did a full uh, thing about that. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> God, Succession? I didn't watch yeah, Succession. Right, no, right, right, oh, okay. yeah. We got I was there. like, I didn't watch Succession. Did there. I talk about that? I hope it ended up for season yeah. one, though. Uh, I'm sure it's a good one-season story. No, that show definitely ends with, like, <laughs> not knowing that they were going to come back for a season two. And Which so, one? Uh, Righteous or Righteous, Succession? Righteous like, Seminoles. they didn't know they were coming back? Yeah. Okay. Because so I think they got picked up, of, like, halfway through the it's show. It's like a finale, then. Yeah. Okay. So I thought, like, I was like, oh, that's beautiful. They should just, boom. But, um... Those characters are really fucking funny. Everyone's really oh, funny righteous. in that show. Mm. You guys like um, what was uh, Danny McBride's other show? The baseball Eastbound one. and Down. Did you guys like that show? I like the, the first pilot. season. Yeah, <laughs> pilot was pretty funny, good. Yeah. Uh, I, I think it got old after once he went to Mexico. I, I like, also saw the pilot of Vice Principals, the other show that he did. That he did. Yeah. That's another one. I was like, all right, I get yeah, it. I get it. I get it. Yeah. Okay. With uh, Walton Goggins. Yeah, Walton Goggins guy. is in this show. And he's fucking wonderful. Oh yeah, yeah. You watched the first episode of that? No, I watched the first. Four seasons of Justin. Oh, Whoa, yeah. look at you. I love Justin. Big man. What yeah. catches your attention? I got to see. Titties? Yeah. No, there's no titties. Cody's in a t- particular <laughs> show. I got to say. You're like, oh, I got to see those titties in season two. No, I just like the characters a lot, man. I right. thought it was a really the cool character's story. titties. Mm-hmm. Mrs. Maisel, you didn't. You watched the pilot? I watched the pilot of that. My wife watches that show a lot. Oh, wow. She's Amber watched that whole show, too. She caught, watched, like, maybe uh, it's a man thing, an alpha male thing. I've caught episodes that she's been watching, yeah. Oh, okay. it's an and alpha male thing. Maybe. You can't yeah, have Co- Cody I likes like, I like a Marvel strong Smith. white character. Yeah, like justified big cowboy man with a hat. That's <laughs> yeah. What I like. yeah. You're like, fuck yeah, yeah he's got a pistol. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ride my those, cowboy. Get those bounties, boy. I'm get a the bounty hunter. Yeah, show me your dick, boy. Yeah, U.S. Marshals. Yeah, squeal. Leftovers like Justin Theroux. Show me that dick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We see his butt many times. Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, show me your Walk dick, around boy. naked, Jay. Walk around. Walk around OC, naked. OC, you like the OC? I fucking love the OC. <laughs> <laughs> I watched every episode of the OC. <laughs> Is that the one with California? Oh, yeah. Dude, when that pilot... Here all right. we go! So Ryan Atwood gets his ass kicked at this rich Newport oh. Beach party, okay? And this guy walks out. He's like, welcome to the OC, bitch. And I was like, I'm in. 
<laughs> That's in. how the first episode ends. I am sold. Are these are these episodes anywhere where we can do commentaries on, on all on of the OC? Oh, maybe. I think they're on Hulu. Oh yeah. We should. Amber's texting me right now saying, like, you guys talking about OC again? No, Amber, you uh, want to get, has she seen the show? No. Oh, no, I need someone Amber. to talk about this show. My buddy from back home loved the OC. It was and the best. And then he watched that new show with the same guy, like Southland or South, something. I just talked about Southland. Is that what you Yeah. You know, you said Southland Tales. Same thing? I didn't say Southland Tales. Oh, yeah. I just said Southland. Oh. Reg- Regina King from Watchmen. Mm-hmm. Southland. With the white guy from, from Michael OC. Michael yeah. Oh. yeah. Yeah. He plays the up and coming cop. Yeah. And then. Um, He's a rookie cop. The guy from Walking Dead with the the mustache, the uh, not Michael Chiklis, uh Michael Barnum, Michael I Bean, his name, but he uh, is Michael incredible in South Faraday. Michael Michael it might be the best performance of his career. Derek C in France, not Derek C in France. Good guess though. Um, um, Benjamin yeah. Linus. No. Did you watch um, more than the pilot of Fleabag? Haven't even seen the pilot of oh, Fleabag. Okay. Fleabag. Is that what YouTube or about? Amazon? That's on Amazon. 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 I, don't I hear nothing you, but great things. Guys, I don't think you guys. Two. I don't think you'll like Fleabag. Season two of the OC. Okay, get this. <laughs> so, Wait, how does season one end? Season spoilers one spoilers for season spoilers. one of OC. Time codes. I put time codes okay. in the bottom okay. for that one. So, so season the, one ends right now. It's this this bad boy from Chino, guys. <laughs> Chino Hills. Just Chino. Oh, I know where that's Chino Hills is nice. Chino Hills is nice. Chino is not. Is he playing softball at the Field of Dreams? So he gets he, the spectrum. He has this rich white lawyer take him in. He's like, You live with me and my family in Newport. Or I think it's Newport. I don't know. OC. Uh, in the OC. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and, Dana Point. And, he, and he, Dana like, Point. he helps him out and all the, or, Yeah, and it's such a nice story. Season one, a lot of drama, all this stuff. All these rich kids don't like him because he's a bad boy from Chino. Uh, <laughs> but Chino. still rich. But still Anywho, rich. Get this, guys. Around the final episode or two, it's revealed that Ryan's ex girlfriend from Chino is pregnant. With his is that Misha Barton baby, not Misha Barton. Oh. Misha Barton is coincidentally named Marissa. I just realized that's my wife's name. Um, oh, that's, that's all, why you married Marissa. Sense. Yeah, yeah. It all makes fucking sense. Like, oh, together. wow, yeah. Marissa. Yeah. Not because you. she's got a great Marissa personality. In that show is actually one of the worst characters. I'll Ooh. say. So maybe it wasn't that. Inspired. No, I don't know because you yeah. say like, oh, I want someone opposite like this. Uh, no, maybe. What's the main guy's name? Cody. Uh, Ryan. <laughs> oh, okay. Ryan. Cody Ryan. Good oh, guess. My middle name. Anyway, guys. My brother's name. So it's revealed that his ex-girlfriend from Chino is pregnant with his baby. So oh, no. he's like, I'm going to go take care of this kid. Oh, God. And he go and he leaves. He goes back to Chino? He leaves Newport Beach. That 45-minute oh, drive to Chino? Dude, it, they, they dragged out that, that goodbye drive. Go down the 405 <laughs> the whole like, time. 45 yeah, right, minutes. It was not that far at all. <laughs> <laughs> was it that, seemed like he was flying away. Was that the 15? <laughs> it's not. He it's just, just like the inland. 60, yeah. He takes the 60 down. <laughs> he's like, I got to get out of here. I believe they play that Hallelujah song too. <laughs> it's so fucking sad. Oh, Jesus. I remember getting so emotional. And his buddy Seth, uh, who's uh, another white guy, Adam he's, Brody, he's kind of like foster brother, I guess, from this is rich family. Adam, Adam Brody? Brody, yeah, is so upset. He he takes off on his boat <laughs> that he has. A little sailboat and goes ah. across the water. And that's how it ends, guys. That's how season one ends. Dude, he leaves the OC. That's oh. like the boat scene in Lost. But he comes back. So season, season two, two opens. guys. What he it came again? With? He came right back, guys. He came in the first time. I forget why. I think it was revealed the kid wasn't his, I want to say. Oh, uh, so his came didn't matter. Yeah, yeah. So he, he comes Someone back and then come. it's just kind of like a recycled plot. But at the end of season two, it's like guys, I forget about what just happened. Get this, guys. <laughs> Ryan's bad boy bro. Oh no! I, fuck! What was his name? Was it Trent or something? That like sounds that? like a Trey. Bad boy. Trey. It was Trey. It was Trey, guys. Wait, 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 Trey. He's on a bunch of drugs and stuff like that. And, he, and his like brother, cocaine. That's he, like his brother's just trying to help him out. And the rich family's like, "All right, we'll take him into." I mean, Che played by Chris Pratt. It was not. He's uh, in season four. Chris though. Pratt's in it. Yeah. Chris Pratt's in the final season, I believe. Oh no! There's Trey Atwood. Yeah, yeah. Trey Atwood is the bro. Yeah. So get this, guys. So in the final episode, Trey's trying to be a good dude. You know, he's like, "I'm, I'm." I'm Done drinking. I'm done doing drugs. Shit like that. He's got an apartment, tits, and all that tits, stuff. Tits. And Marissa comes over to hang out with them one night, mm. and has, the guy has one too many drinks. Oh, and oh they God. start to fight and stuff like that. And then Ryan's like, "What the fuck is going on?" And they start they start to fight. And Trey gets on top of him and Ryan starts, fights Marissa. No, fights uh, Trey. Trey. Okay, because they have like an abusive relationship. Is his brother? Oh, okay. yeah. The brothers brother, have. Brother. They they fought a lot. Oh, okay. um, and Trey's like straight up choking the life out of Ryan. Oh no! And then all I love of a getting sudden, choked. you hear. Boom, what you say? Oh, that's that, where it comes it's from. It's where it comes from. And it's revealed Marissa right there with the gun. Oh, Misha Barton. She shot him. Oh. And he looks back like he just looks back like <laughs> Shoots Trey? Yeah, she shot oh, Trey. And he was, he was just so shocked. He's like 
And that song just keeps playing. Mm, what you say? I don't think I'd be able to take that serious. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh, Did he go to prison? Did they cover up the and body? He, That's he how it falls ends. falls down on the floor just like, it's literally just like that SNL short. In 2004. Just, just falls there on the floor. Take that shit serious. And then Ryan puts his arm around and they're going to figure out what to do. End of the season. Oh. oh season two? Yeah. Oh, my God. He survives. Um, uh, we can't spoil <laughs> season three for me. <laughs> it's you in know the next what? episode. He's fine. <laughs> can we, can we, he drives can, off on a bus. Can we spoil? Well, I was going to say, can we spoil season three in the Patreon section? Sure. Yeah, Wait, real quick. On the trivia on IMDb, it says the infamous Welcome to the OC bitch was not a line <laughs> in the original script. Oh, it was improv? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> that was the whitest clap I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, That's the equivalent that of Harrison uh, Ford saying I know in Star Wars. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to the OC, bitch. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> he thought that was so fucking cool. And it worked. Uh, oh, Phantom Planet is the band. Oh, yeah. Written. Wow. <laughs> Trent Reznor, Atticus Ross. No, who wrote California? The song? Yeah. Well, who has a co-credit? Oh, I don't know that. David Bowie. Jason Schwartzman. Wow. Whoa. Interesting. It's a great song, guys. California. California. <laughs> oh, man. Well, Cody, that was that was amazing. Yeah, I could I can go on about that show. You took us on a journey yeah. to the stars. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now we're floating in space. From Chano Hills to the Newport Beach. What did you just remember? Remembered how season three ended. Maybe San Pedro <laughs> ports a call. Oh, <laughs> well, you know what? Man. If you want to see how season three ended, tune in to our Patreon. Because that's where we'll tell it. Because we're wrapping up the shit. The Wanger Show episode 133 comes to a close. 38. What did I say? Three? <laughs> He's at three, three. Shit. It's okay. Had a lot of wine. It's all right. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching, listening. Subscribe, rate, review to this channel, Amateur Hour Films. We've got a new short film coming out real soon. We're going to post. Don't worry. It'll come out soon. It'll be. Uh, Anchor. Anchor. These guys are Ahoy, on tour. Sorry. Thank you. Uh, like you're on that's where you can find boat. us on uh, podcast, Apple Podcasts, rate, review. It helps the show out. Patreon.com uh, slash wangers. One episode. Mm. Patreon.com slash wangers is where you can find all of our stuff. You get there first. We did a commentary for Jason X. Check it out. It was a lot of fun. Cody's first commentary back in a while. It was a great time. I had a very really lovely fun time. time. Not sure if we'll have a commentary this week, but if we do, be on the lookout for that. These guys Band are camp. in San Diego soon. Tpublic.com. They can only tour in California. Search wangers. <laughs> they close out with this song every time. You can do that. They open and close with this song. <laughs> Happy spooky it's month. All we got. Brian won't be here. Say everyone, everyone say bye to Brian. And thank you so much for watching this episode. Please comment below. Let us know what you thought about uh, Watchmen. Brian, take us out. What just happened? Where are we playing? Oh, we're playing. It's the OC thing. It's California. It was always great. Oh. Oh. It's the oh. You uh. play this in karaoke? No, I can't do this one. Can't do this. This is too high of a note for too long. Yeah. Brian, yeah. I can't do it. Brian, what would uh, what would you sing karaoke? I know it's fucking loud as fuck. I gotta take my other head off. Too loud? Pretty loud. I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's just my headphones. Uh, uh, I forgot how to hear things. And karaoke. Feel. Can you take me <laughs> higher? My buddy did with arms wide open one time. I would love to crush. I would love to do my Rush sacrifice. Game. Was that oh, game? Was that game? Justin. God damn it, Justin. Yeah. Learn how to spell lose. That was just for Cody. Yeah, that was a good one.